How do you uninstall an app on the Mac? That's super easy. But to do it properly is not that easy. In this video, I'll show you all the techniques how to uninstall the apps without any traces. I'll split this video in two parts. In the first part, we'll get rid of the applications downloaded from the App Store. And in the other part, we'll be deleting and installing the applications downloaded from the web from the third party developers. This way, we are kind of continuing on the previous video where I showed you how to actually download and install these apps. We will start by going to Launchpad. You can access it with a single swiping gesture on your trackpad. So simply pinch with three fingers and a thumb and you will get to this icon viewer. And all I need to do in here is to simply click and hold any of these apps. After a second, you will get into this editing mode where all the apps are kind of wiggling. You can also just hold the option key on your keyboard and you will get into the same deleting mode. Now you can notice that some of the apps will have these circles with an X in them. That's actually how you uninstall an app. You simply click the circle with an X in uninstall the app and you are completely done. But it is very obvious that most of these apps installed here do not have that cross. There are two reasons for this. One is because the app is part of the operating system. So these here are all integral to the operating system and you can't uninstall them at all. You can kind of hide them if you put them into folders. To create a folder here is also easy. Just drag any app over the other one and it will create a folder. I can put these productivity apps like pages, keynote and numbers all into one folder. And it actually names it productivity by default. But now what about the other reason? Why these apps don't have the X button for deleting? Well, that's because you have installed the software from somewhere else beside the Mac App Store. Here, for example, Chrome or VLC. These were installed from other websites where I actually downloaded the app. To get rid of these, we will have to try a few different techniques. So the place where I need to go is the applications folder. You can access it in many different ways. You can use the go menu for it. You can search for it on Spotlight. But I think the easiest is to just open new find a window and click on applications on the left sidebar. Here I get the list of all the applications I have on my Mac. And all I need to do now is to find the one I want to delete. In this example, I will delete the Zoom app. If I need to join any call, I can do it through the web. So how do I uninstall it? Well, you don't need to uninstall it at all. You just simply take the icon and drag it to the bin. That's indeed a great way how to uninstall the app. Note that this is not just an icon, but the whole app bundle itself. Most of the modern apps will include all of the materials, all of the content just into this one single icon. They are not spread anywhere else, so you can simply take it and move it to the bin. Sometimes you might notice that there is not a single icon, but a whole folder. In this case, don't drag the whole folder into the bin, but open it. Because in most of the cases, you will find uninstaller inside. Now we are getting to the special cases where the app installs some components outside of this icon and put it somewhere in the system library. It's quite rare, but it can happen. You can of course dig into the library yourself and try to find it. But in this case, I like to use some cleaning applications. Most of the time I'm using the free app called App Cleaner. But I have recently also partnered with a setup, which is a platform including more than 200 applications, which you can get with one subscription. And in there you will find some other uninstallers and also the well-known Clean My Mac. So if you're considering getting this app, I will recommend you to check the link in the description. This is not a paid promotion, but if you want to check it out and support my small channel, I'll get a small commission if you get a subscription using the link below. But anyway, as I said, you don't really need to install any other application when you are actually trying to uninstall something. In most of the cases, you can just grab the icon and move it to the bin and you are done. Well, this video is done as well. I hope you learned something new here. And if you did, you can support it with a like or join the channel by subscribing. In that case, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.